Um, so, hello everyone. Today's lecture will be about computes and internet technology development and its impact on other technologies. Uh, one first impact, first development of internet technology is voice recognition. Uh, it has um, uh, all uh, commands will be operated uh, via voice. And uh, in the next three or five years, it will bring major advances in speech recognition. Also, voice is converted into uh, phone maps, like basic elements of speech. Uh, for example, uh, English language has approximately 50 uh, phone names. Uh, so, and voice recognition, uh, here is uh, compared to dictionary of words stored via these phone names uh, and the words then translated into computer commons like uh, display nearest gas station and the limited vocabulary systems and the systems trained to particular person's speech will be very fast and precise. Uh, also, uh, voice recognition requires a tremendous storage and the processing power, uh, so it's, there can't be any problems. Uh, the next uh, power of uh, internet uh, will be about DNA computers. Uh, this, uh, first of all, it's microprocessors made of silicon will eventually reach the limits of speed in the miniaturization. And it's these chip makers need new material to produce faster and uh, computing speeds. Uh, and the millions of natural supercomputers exist in living organisms. Also, DNA, uh, these desoxyribonucleic acid molecules have potential uh, to perform calculations many times faster than the world's most powerful human-built supercomputers. And uh, DNA might uh, one day be integrated on a computer chip uh, to create a so-called biochip that will push computers even faster. Uh, these DNA molecules have already been harnessed to perform complex mathematical problems, and the large supply of DNA makes it a cheap resource. And the last, the DNA's key advantage is that it will make computers smaller while holding more data than any computer that has come before. Another thing is that uh, one pound of DNA has the capacity to store more information than all electronic computers ever built. And the T-drop size DNA computer will be more powerful than the world's current most powerful supercomputer. And uh, unlike conventional linear computers, uh, DNA computers perform calculations in parallel. So what are the impact and opportunity? Impact is that uh, computers will be smaller, faster, uh, quicker with enormous amounts of storage capacity. Benefit uh, can be that any imaginable task can be programmed to be executed in real time, so like monitoring aspects of nuclear reactor. And challenge, uh, what is the most cost-effective use of these technologies? So here is Gerai's question. So how can we keep smaller, faster, quicker development going? Uh, so here can be some for our potential future developments, such as the forgotten senses like touch, smell, taste, and the research and computer use for vision impaired leading to touch screens with digitally controlled raised surface. And so it's a digital scent synthesizer. So first it's indexed at thousands of smells based on chemical structure and place on scent spectrum. Each scent is coded and digitized into small file. This digital file is embedded in a web content or email, much like an image file, and the uh, user may request scent or may be unleashed automatically and uh, create thousands of RT scents with small cartridge containing 128 primary orders and similar research going on in digital taste synthesis also. What about robotics? Uh, so. Because of advances in processors, memory, decision support systems, expert systems, and sensors. And now today's uh, crude robots will become thinking machines uh, capable of behavior that mimics reason, emotion, common sense, speech, vision, and locomotion. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for your attention.